Is your water clean? Most people would say, after physical inspection of their water, that it looks clean. However, just because your water looks clean doesn't always mean it's safe to drink. Although you can't see contaminants, they can still be present in your water. Drinking untreated water with contaminants such as arsenic, uranium and radium, nitrates, and bacteria over an extended period of time can lead to serious health problems. Children, in particular, are vulnerable to these health risks as their bodies can tolerate a much smaller amount of these contaminants than adults. Elevated arsenic in drinking water has been linked to several cancers, including those of the lungs, skin, and bladder. Exposure to radionuclides, or doses of radiation, has been linked with various cancers and, in the case of uranium, with kidney disease. Nitrate poisoning is directly tied to blue baby syndrome, a deadly disease affecting the ability of a newborn to carry oxygen in his blood. The consumption of certain microorganisms derived from fecal waste can lead to gastrointestinal or other more serious illnesses. Sometimes, people believe that boiling water or using a simple tap or bottle filter can eliminate these contaminants, but this is simply not true. Boiling water is good for killing all microorganisms, but for other contaminants, boiling contaminated water will evaporate away the safe water, leaving behind a now more concentrated portion of the contaminated liquid. The only way to keep your water free of contaminants is by testing it, and, if it's contaminated, treating it using specific and individual methods designed to remove the actual contaminants that are in your house water. To determine if your well water is contaminated, call a testing company that tests for the contaminants you are looking for in your well water. Northern New Jersey residents are advised to test for the most common contaminants found in local groundwater. Hi, I'd like to test my well water. Great, yeah, I know I need to test for arsenic, radionuclides, specifically uranium and radium, nitrates, and bacteria. Can you guys do that at your lab? Okay, great, what happens next? Some testing companies will let you collect your own water samples. Depending on the company, you can either pick up the sampling containers at the lab, or they will be sent to you by mail. Simple instructions will come with the bottles. Remove any screens or filter you may be using in your water system right now. And it's important to run the cold water for 10 minutes before filling the sample bottles, so that any stale water in the plumbing will be flushed out. Fill the sample to the appropriate level, and then bring it to the nearest drop-off point specified by your testing company. Other times, the testing company will come to your house to collect the samples. Once your samples are received by the laboratory, each sample is processed and analyzed with specific instruments following standardized procedures. This couple just received their test results from the lab. Do you understand what that means? I don't know. It says we're above the state guidelines. Is that good or bad? The test for arsenic is under metals, and the New Jersey maximum contaminant level is 5 micrograms per liter. The couple's water tested positive for arsenic at 11 micrograms per liter. They have exceeded the state standards. They will have to find an appropriate treatment plan for this contaminant. Under microbial parameters, the initial bacteria test looks for total coliform bacteria. If total coliform bacteria are detected, but the state guideline is not exceeded, a follow-up test for either fecal coliform or E. coli bacteria is required. The presence of either fecal coliform or E. coli bacteria indicates that the well is likely contaminated with fecal waste and corrective action is warranted. Some laboratories use a type of test that looks for total coliform bacteria and E. coli at the same time. This test shows that the New Jersey couple has not exceeded the state standard for nitrates. The gross alpha tests refer to the test for radionuclides under radiological parameters. The radioactivity of the water is described in picocuries per liter. If a gross alpha initial test is above 5 picocuries per liter, then a second test is done. If the second test is above 15 picocuries per liter, it has exceeded the radiological standards and must be tested further to see if the well is contaminated with uranium, radium, or a combination of the two. This couple did have an initial gross alpha test that required the second test, but their final gross alpha showed levels that do not exceed the standard. However, if the second gross alpha reading is between 5 and 15 picocuries per liter, 
as in this case, the water may still exceed the radium standard of 5 picocuries per liter, and a follow-up test for radium is recommended. When this couple went ahead with the follow-up radium test, they found their well water did not exceed the radium standard, and required no treatment for this contaminant. Once you receive and understand your test results, it's important that you seek treatment consultation if any contaminant is found in your water at levels above state standards. There are many treatment companies located in northern New Jersey who are happy to meet, discuss, and explain options with you. A list of companies can be found on the Arsenic Awareness website. This couple is choosing to install a whole house arsenic removal filter since their well water exceeded the state guidelines for arsenic. Water safety should be a priority. Clean water starts with you. Once the process is completed, your water health is left only to a matter of filter maintenance. Spread the word to your neighbors, be informed, and be safe.